it is an honor to be here in Astana for this important moment in the partnership between the European Union and Republic of Kazakhstan. We have just witnessed the signing of two important agreements between our countries. Before that, we had a very fruitful meeting with His Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Murat Mutlev, and his colleagues. During our discussion, he mentioned a phrase that resonates strongly with me. The EU and Kazakhstan are a great match. Indeed, we have high ambitions, great expertise, and we are looking for a reliable partner. I am certain that our global gateway strategy will enable us to build a mutual beneficial partnership with Kazakhstan. As we all know, modern economies rely heavily on essential minerals for clean technologies and digital devices. It takes more than 50 different raw materials to power the smartphones we use daily. Europe needs these critical raw materials to modernize its economy and Kazakhstan with its vast reserves is a natural partner. That is why I am pleased that a new Euro 3 million agreement was signed, was signed today with the EBRD to enhance our cooperation on critical raw materials. Through this agreement, we will promote advanced extraction technologies and sustainable standards, creating a true win-win. Europe gains a reliable supply, while Kazakhstan strengthens its mining sector, fosters innovation, and creates skilled jobs. Yet no matter how rich our resources are, we need efficient links to markets. That is why our mutual cooperation strongly focused on infrastructure and the Trans-Caspian Transport Corridor is a game changer. It can reduce transit times between Europe and Asia to just 15 days or even less, unlocking new opportunities for trade and investments across the region. Today we also signed a framework loan agreement between the European Investment Bank and the Development Bank of Kazakhstan. This loan will allow us to invest in roads, rail and logistics, positioning Kazakhstan as a vital link between two continents. As our partnership and economies grow, we must ensure that this growth is sustainable. Therefore, we are supporting renewable energy initiatives, wind, solar and more, to help Kazakhstan diversify its energy resources and meet its environmental goals. Furthermore, under our Global Gateway Strategy, we are working to improve digital access for the people of Kazakhstan. Through a 55 million euro Team Europe initiative, we support the government in connecting hundreds of villages in rural areas, unlocking new opportunities uh, for Kazakh citizens and local businesses alike. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, I wish to extend my sincere thanks to the government of Kazakhstan as well as to our partners at the EBRD, EIB and the Development Bank of Kazakhstan for making these agreements possible. We should now harness this momentum to turn our potential into reality for our companies and our citizens. The EU Central Asia Summit next month will be an excellent opportunity to build on this progress. By joining forces, we can meet the challenges of a rapidly evolving world and generate shared prosperity. 
Let me emphasize this opportunity to create a more prosperous, more sustainable, and more connected future together. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.